Clay, wet ground. Dig a hole, it fills with water and stays there. A willow tree doing absolutely fantastic. They like damp ground. High water table, make a ball, put a hole in the ball and the ball holds water for as long as you're there. Rivers, streams, we need a treatment plant. We need a sewage treatment plant. I will talk about costs and the advantage of sharing later in the video. If you have a septic tank in wet ground, it's more than likely polluting. The River Thames is the cleanest river, in my opinion, in the world that flows through a major city. This is a major feat, considering that 50 years ago the river was so polluted it was declared to be biologically dead. 1830 to 1860, tens of thousands of people died of cholera as the result of pollution in the Thames. In 1878, pleasure steamship Princess Alice sank, but they didn't die of drowning, they died of the pollution of the river. There are different types of treatment plants. This is one, half above ground. There is deep ones, there is long ones. But if it's a high water table, if it's ground and if the ground is stable, if you have a preference of how the treatment should occur, the big wheel, for instance, well, the treatment plant, the most common are designed for settlement in the first chamber of solids and fats. Lots of people will stir up food if there's lots of people using the system, but the bacteria in the treatment area will eat all this clean before it discharges. Like a fish tank, for instance. Uh, if, I, if I may use that as an example, um, a treatment plant is very similar to that. In other words, a treatment plant is not something you buy um, and then you put in and forget about it. It's something that's living. It's something that has to be looked after. J well, not too much, but like the fish tank. For instance, if you bought a fish tank uh, capable of handling 50 fish and you put the 50 fish in it without any aeration or even with aeration, you know, those bubbles, all that going on, um, the fish will pollute the water and die. It will not have a chance to build up the bacteria that is needed to keep the water clean. But if you was to put five fish in this tank capable of 50, if you put five fish in there with aeration and allow the bacteria to build up and, and eat the water clean, a period of around, I'm not an expert on fish tanks, but if you allow it for about seven days or more, um, and then you put another 20 fish in, and then allow another few days or a few weeks just to let it build up, and then you can put in the remainder of the 50 fish. And it'll happily just keep itself um, clean. The water, will, the, the bacteria will be in abundance there, uh, providing you've got all the necessary things that's needed. And that's the same as your treatment plant. If you give this, if I may just use that example a bit more, if you give the 50 fish in that tank enough food for two months, all in one go, it will pollute the water and all the bacteria and all the fish will die because it's a different action going on. I hope that's helpful. Now to costs. Plant material, typical costs. Installation costs for a, a, a domestic treatment plant, 8,000 to 12,000 pounds, depending on size and manufacture and ground conditions. Pipe to the river, well, it, it's normally a short pipe, but, you know, it goes per metre, about £50 a metre, it, it can be a lot less. If it's discharged to land, however, um, uh, into land drainage, you would have to alter the cost depending on the ground porosity. If you have poor ground, you'll need to do twice as much as you have in good ground. Um, but the average cost uh, is uh, £1,500 to £3,000. It's clean water, so it's easier to manage and can go in a lot more places. And there's lots you can do with clean water. Typical maintenance cost, though, typical maintenance cost, emptying annually and the power consumption is around about 350 a year. Maintenance service, like the electrician common who doesn't mind getting his hands dirty and talks to the other people who are servicing, around about 140, 150 pounds, depending on the manufacturer and depending on the treatment plant. Uh, a large outlay in the beginning, in the region of £10,000, we'll say. I'm not quoting prices here, I'm just giving you an idea. 
Average uh, annual costs, about 500 to 600 a year. Well, over a 10 year period, that's 5,000 to 6,000 say. That's not bad. That's not bad. And you're green and you're looking after the environment. It's not likely that you're gonna be able to do land drains. But if it was possible and you were to try and have land drains, then the porosity uh, is gonna be slight or hardly existent. So therefore, it's gonna take three or four times the amount. It's a big effort. It's a lot of trouble to get um, a septic tank to go into this kind of ground. It's not feasible, it's not cost effective. Whereas a septic tank is designed for settlement only of solids or whatever, it just separates, that's all it does, it doesn't treat. And see this uh, mess here, see, see this all this food stuff here. Too many people will stir it up, lots of food will go through into the soakways if, they were, if you could do them. But a treatment, on the other hand, is designed for settlement also, um, and six or seven people or more, uh, lots of people, depending on the size of the treatment plant, uh, will stir up the food stuff, but will get through into the treatment area where the bacteria will eat it completely clean. Sharing a treatment plant very often doesn't affect the maintenance cost. In fact, it's shared between two or three people. A treatment plant can take two or three houses, depending on the size again. Um, but it doesn't necessarily double the installation cost. It doesn't um, cost more for the tanker to come quite often. He, he, he doesn't often fill his tank up anyway. Um, so it's very cost effective. I hope this was helpful. I hope you got something from it. Um, I tried with my pictures and my videos and rest of it to, to, to get my point over. Um, if you liked the video and you got something from it, then would you press like? And if you could pass it, I will share it with a friend or a, a, a fellow householder who's got a septic tank or a treatment plant or even a cesspit. Um, please pass my name on. Please pass my link to the video. This is Jerry. Sign up for now. Bye for now.